Hi, how's it going today? My name's Lance and thanks for watching. Uh, today I'm going to do a painting that's, uh, uh, I put some acrylic on and it's dry and I'm going to go over it with oils and some transparent colors. So it should be pretty cool. Um, anyway, thanks for, thanks for watching and let's get started. Okay, we're going to start out. Here we go. I put a bunch of uh, medium on here. Get that out of the way. I put some medium right here. Uh, it's all clear, so it the canvas has got it's clear, and you can't see it, but it's wet. So I don't have to. I'm not strong enough to rip paint on here by myself. So it makes it nice for you. Don't have to use as much paint, and whatnot. And I put acryl acrylic. This is is acrylic, and I've just drawn in some stuff, and it's dry. So everything's already in there. So we've got a lot done without having a lot of paint on the brush. So. Let's start out with this uh, Indian yellow, and it's a really uh, um, transparent color. So we're going to try to keep it right in here. We're just going to start out in here and see it doesn't cover the stuff behind it. You can see through it. So that looks kind of cool. Now, if I were to put white on here, it'd be opaque. And if I was to do this in oils, I'd have to wait a week to let them dry before I could paint over them. Well, this one I just did a little bit ago. Let's say this, we'll kind of stay where we think the horizon is. And so, I don't have a lot of patience. I worked 15 hours yesterday on a stinking train, so I need something to do to chill out. So I thought I'd paint today. I wasn't gonna, but I have a few hours for the kid gets home. kids get home. So, uh, yeah, we'll go to there. See, let's see, that looks all right, doesn't it? Should we keep it yellow or should we put a different color in there? I think that looks good. We could put some, uh, yeah, see how it does, nothing blends in. And over here, anything that goes through, I left the trees a little airy. And yeah, and you could put a little white in here, but it's gonna, it'll, it'll, you have to do just a little. I might, I think I have some more transparent white that I can use, but I think that looks pretty good there. I don't even know if I want any blue in this one. What I'm gonna do though, but since we're higher up, I'm going to get a little yellow ochre. I haven't been put on my palette yet. And that'll be a little gold color. And that'll should look good. We can always come over it with some. Now, if I put blue on here, it'd turn green. Ugh. So let's go over here. And yellow ochres. oh, it's transparent too. Semi-transparent. It's, uh, you know, and that kind of gives you a little little goldy look up top there but see it doesn't really cover the trees that bad it doesn't like if i was to put white they might disappear i don't want that because they worked pretty hard putting them in there so then you got this up there and that's the yellow ochre gold you know it's a little it's a gold color it's cool it's good okay and bring that down a little more maybe there Up top. There. That don't look too bad. I mean, it's a uh, nice yellow. Really kind of jumps out at you, don't it? You know what, though? We could do is uh, put a little orange up top. This is going to probably have some opaqueness in it, so it might kill the top of my trees. But I'll be careful with it. I'm just guessing what I'm doing here. So this painting isn't, I haven't really planned it too much. But this orange might give a little. There. Oh, that's not bad. See right at the top? It might make it look a little better. And this is the colors I'm going to use whatever. I'm going to put some greens down here, even though it's kind of a silhouette looking painting. You know, if I left it like this, it'd be fine. But in my opinion, it'd be kind of boring. You know, so there, you got a little orange up top. That looks pretty good. I'm just kind of coming in and doing that. So there, I got that done. I'll grab a, uh, just a blender, a, a brush and blend it out like this one. I'm going to start right here and just come in here. Let's go back and forth and just kind of blend that, blend them together. And like I said, I'm going to put some green in the trees and stuff, I think. And I, mean, you can, I think it'll, yeah. Keep that up there. And that, see, it's so the lightest part is right down there in the middle. 
it kind of looks like me. So we'll leave it like that. Um, and then down below here, we're going to put some, uh, I decided to use, uh, and I'm just going to leave the brush I had. It's got orange on it, but that won't do anything. There, and we're going to come down here and we're going to put some, I'm going to use uh, burnt sienna down here. I think that'll look good. It might mix with some of this other color. Let's see what it does. Burnt sienna is also uh, transparent. And that'll kind of bring in maybe the the land a little. We'll come in here and kind of bring that there. Maybe come over here, you know, and just kind of bring it into there. Keep it down though, so it's not there. And it kind of comes in, and the rocks kind of turn brown, don't they? I don't know if I, I wanted that, but the orange in there is a little transparent. You can see it's kind of coming in and that's all right, though. You bring that up there. I don't want to get that. Uh, I want to try to keep that area right there. So we might come back in and I might put some white in there, actually, to make it a little lighter, a little misty. This is just just putting in some some brown. And we can come back in and uh, see that. So it's it's pretty transparent. You can still see the trees and stuff under there. And, uh, and it kind of gives you that look like, you know, we got some brown and whatnot. And uh, we'll come back in and, and do some fun stuff there. And I'm going to take a tiny little, uh, I did get a new brush today at the store. For sale. I'm going to use this guy. And I'm going to get some, uh, let's see, where is that stuff? I need a little white. Well, I wasn't ready. Sorry. There it is. Let's try this side. Uh, Zinc titanium white. See if it's a little more transparent. No idea. But I'm going to use this brush. Sorry. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to get this little brush. I don't know if you can see it or not. Get a little bit. Just a tiny little bit on there. And see if I can make this brighter in here. Just right in here. And blend out. See? One more. I don't want to kill all that nice yellow. That right in there that I had. There's a little bit on there. Let's get a little more of that zinc there. And that'll kind of give it a little misty look. Blend it up in here. And then you kind of got that just in that area as I want. So you can see I kind of picked up some other color there and I kind of darkened it. I didn't want to do that, but we'll go back in and see if we can fix it with this. This stuff's super thin. And then if it doesn't, oh well, we'll just leave it like that, and and that's the way it goes. And I'll take this guy again, my blender, the one I use to blend, and I'll just come in across here and just kind of blend that. That don't look too bad. It got a little dark, but no big deal. So we still have the the mist in there, and it kind of looks light in there, kind of like it's kind of hazing through there. I kind of like that. Um, Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we can come in and we will get some uh, green. And I'm going to use uh, some black and I'll do some black and some cad yellow. My yellow, where is it? Where is it? There, I'm almost out of that too. Let's grab another one. Well, once again, I'm not organized, am I? Okay, we'll do black and yellow, and that's going to be the green on our trees. And I can use the black and stuff down there. That cad yellow. And black makes a really nice green, actually. Okay, and I'm just going to grab a... For this one, I'm just going to get a small little fan brush. This guy. And then I'm going to use him. Because I on these things, I kind of just went like that, so I'm going to probably have to do the same thing with... With this with this guy so we'll take the yellow right here we'll get a little black and I'm there and that'll give us a nice nice green you know I can even maybe throw a little orange in there and ooh, that looks kind of good Let's see how it goes the brown there might be a little brown that orange kind of will dot will kind of tone it down too but this will give it just a nice little 
color on it. And then we'll just kind of come in here. I don't know how where these go, but we don't want too much up top here, but we're just going to kind of come in and just kind of zip them back and forth, you know, and just kind of give them a little color up here. There. So see that kind of puts a little color in there. That doesn't look too bad. And then we'll come in the other side and we'll do that over here, maybe down below. Maybe this guy's in front of him, right? Punch that up and there's, there, just kind of go back and forth. Just, you know, don't kill all the dark spots because otherwise it won't look right. You're just kind of coming in and just having some random little, there. And that, that looks good over here. Maybe we can get a little more yellow on there and it'll make it stick out a little more. There, and come down to here and maybe they come down to about, I don't know, right? That tree goes right to there. There, that's where they stop. So there's the base of the trees, and we'll have some other stuff down there. Come over here, and these ones might come down. Put a little more, a little brown in there too. As you get down here, you know, and that, let's see that. So there he goes there. This little guy goes here. Just kind of there. So they kind of stop there. The trees are there. They look good. And we can come in here. Just maybe this guy comes out a little more. A little bit over there. A little more right here, maybe. There. So there. Those trees don't look too bad. They got some depth in them because there's uh, 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 some uh, the, the dark still in there, so you're not losing it all, right? So then we're going to come in here, and we're going to put some uh, down below here. We're going to come in, and, and I'm going to put some grass in here. I'm going to use the same brush, same color. We're just going to tap. Once again, I'm kind of just guessing here. And for here, I think I'm going to put some, I'm going to mix some brown in there. Dull it down a little bit. Oh, it's kind of getting a little, and we'll just kind of come in here and bring that down. There's a tree there. We'll go back over him when we want to. Okay. Maybe the lay of land goes there. And it comes across and I'm kind of changing it up because I had some rocks in there, but you don't need to keep it that way. And down over here, maybe it comes right to there. And there's the rocks there. I can see the rocks there. So I'm going to keep those. Okay. Get a little more, get a little more black in there. The next time I won't, uh, I won't, uh, um, I'll make sure my, there, and those will just go right to there. And you can push up here, kind of give some little indications there. Keep that dark in there too, though. And maybe that goes to there. There's a little peak there, a little peak on the other side, you know. Um, doesn't look too bad. Not bad. Um, might mix a little green in there too. I have, this is, ooh, a permanent green. That might make it really, might be too much. But let's see what it does. A little... Oh yeah, that looks all right. And there's a little rocks there coming down and maybe that's just a little knoll there. And then over here, same thing, this guy. You know, we can get some yellow ochre in there too. Mix them up. Get in there and put some different colors in there. And I know that's pretty light and stuff, but maybe this is all comes down like this. Okay. And there's a rock there. We'll pull that rock down. Let's just kind of say we're having, that's what we're looking at here. Okay, get, maybe get some more yellow, some yellow ochre in there. Different colors and just kind of, there. Bring that all the way down. So that's how that's looking there. Okay, next thing. Um, there's some rocks back in there behind these trees, but maybe you can't see them as much, but maybe there's a little bit right there. Okay, the grass goes to there and then... That'd be kind of cool if it went all the way to the tip of that one, wouldn't it? Let's do that. Just using the mix of color of there. So there's some grass right to there. Okay. A little, so you can see how that kind of is going to come back there. That looks good. And maybe we'll do it on the other side too. Okay. So we'll just kind of come down in front of this guy and there's grass right to the edge there. Let's see. Tap that down. Yeah. Kind of push that up. Yeah, kind of 
creates a barrier. We should have left a little more dark down there. We can fix that though. And there, he goes to right there, okay? And then there's some rocks there that are coming down. So we're kind of, we'll leave that there and then we'll kind of come in and we'll take a, uh, might as well, this will be easy. We're gonna use this brush. We're gonna take that, I'm gonna take some of my um, brown that I had, burnt sienna. I'm gonna mix it with my, my white that I have. And that zinc white's a good white. It's really thin. So I'll get a little more. And this will just be our rock color here, our lights. I don't... Okay, get some color in there. I'm just mixing this on the knife. And then I'm going to grab some of that. And maybe, am I going to use the small end of the knife? And it's kind of marbled, so you can't really tell. But So we'll just take from here, and we're going to pull down. Pull that down. Okay, that looks good, and maybe it comes down, and you know, you just got these rocks that are coming down. There, see, so there's your little rocky areas. That looks pretty good. Get a little more over here, and maybe this one comes down like this. You know, just turn it, and just kind of bring it down in front there, see what that does. There. I have to put a little more white in it, but yeah. And then here you got this guy. This is, these knives are fun. You can really, do, you know, have a lot of fun with them. And then you just make your rocks, you know, pull them this way and see what way you want them to come into the middle. Kind of looks like some highlight there. You know, as it gets farther away, that light might not be showing as much, you know, and then maybe this one comes here. Or you can even use the larger part of the knife and just kind of pull that down there. There, so it looks like a little, little, you know, kind of comes that way. And then over here, you do the same thing. Pull it this way. Uh, maybe it comes over to here. And you can pull it there. Maybe it sticks up there, comes down. Turn the, bra turn the knife and just let it kind of come down like that. There, so you got some little things happening. You can get some lighter color in there. And just pull it down, 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 down. And then there's like a little... A little hole there i don't know and then now that looks too pretty good okay so we're good there so that kind of comes down and maybe down in here we're not gonna put water in there but maybe this just kind of comes down like this and there's some flat spots there take the knife and go that way this guy could be over a little bit you know i'm just trying to there i want a little bit more light right in here oh yeah that looks good there, just kind of different colors, different mixes and stuff. So there you got that kind of comes in. You got your trees. That doesn't look too bad, does it? And then over here, we've got some more, you know, maybe a little darker, but you're going to have some, uh, an air, you know, that comes there. Maybe there's just a little bit here. Comes down. You know, and that maybe goes this way. And you get, maybe that pulls there. Just some little fun things going on. And, you know, maybe it comes down that way and there, cover up, whatever. And I'm out of paint. <laughs> so there, that one comes down and there's trees in there. We're going to put those back in. So they'll, they'll kind of stand in front of everything when, when they, when I get the dark out. Um, 18 minutes, not bad. Um, so let's see, how do we want to do over here? Do we want to bring that grass down? Here or do we just want to do this? Because if we did that, we could get some get some darker because it's farther away, right? And then just bring that down. There, we'll do that for now. And if we want to put grass over it, we can. Maybe it comes up a little. That one has a little. There, so that one kind of the rocks kind of move around. They get a little more wicked over there. You could do that over here too. Watch, come over here. See where the grass is. Maybe there's another rock right there. Cover it right up. And he kind of goes that way. You know, maybe it's a little air. He can be round, get even a little roundness there. And we can get a little more of that white, and amount of white again. Put that on here. <laughs> so, it's not a bad day in Montana today. It's Friday. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to mix up my knife. I just get it on the edge of the knife like that, and then. And we don't want as much back there, you know, a little dark, but 
you know, you can put a little bit right in there maybe. It just makes it look better. You mix that white in there. Down in here we can get some dark. You know, maybe there's just a little area in there where there's rocks and stuff and it just kind of comes in. You want your darks and your, your highlight. And we do have black too. So we want to come in and darken some stuff like over here. Take a little black. There. Pull him across. Angle him in maybe. There's a little something there. You know, because however the light's coming through, uh, maybe there's a little bit in here. Just touch the little areas in here. Just touch them in and just little things going on. The knife works good because there's a lot of paint on there. And so, but yeah, see that? It kind of gives you some little, little uh, areas. And over here with the black, we can take and maybe this has got a little bit on this side. Just a little bit. Let it break. You know, let it come over there and kind of work its way out. Kind of pushes the grass back there. That looks, that kind of looks pretty good, doesn't it? Um, over here, I think I'm going to take this. Watch this. And we'll take the black there and just pull that out. There. And you can kind of go here. Maybe do that. Kind of gives you a little more of a, an edge, a sharp edge on the rock. <laughs> you, can, you can monkey around with these all day if you want. Maybe there's a little bit there. Got lots of black, a little bit coming down there, you know, that kind of breaks up. Sometimes in these cracks, you can make them like this. There, kind of, this is how you get detail. And I don't have time to do that today because we aren't, nobody's going to watch me more than 35 minutes, if that. So we got to get through it faster. Every one of these I do, I do a time lapse on and I post them. Time lapses are definitely get watched more. They're pretty cool. And, uh, but every painting that I'm going to try to do all of them and, uh, and then they'll, you can watch the time lapse if you want to do that. Or if you're watching the time lapse and you want to watch this, you can do that instead. So you got that. Okay. So let's see. I need a, I need a, I got the black. I'm going to use, I need, I'm going to use a filbert. Yeah. Okay. I got my black. I'm going to take some sienna and mix it with it. And I'm going to make these trees black and, and burnt sienna. I could use Van Dyke Brown. And I'm just going to come back in and put these trees back in. They might change color a little, but I'm only going to go to there. Pull it down. And let's say it goes right to there. Okay. There. Black. Black. Sienna. Pull this one down. You could use a knife for this too, but I, I don't, I want them to stop right there. I don't want them to go out of the painting today. I'll get some more sienna, some black. And we'll push them down to there. And this guy, he could be down... You know, that guy can stay where he's at and be on the other side, but uh, I think we're going to pull him down too. Where's he going to go? We'll take him right to there. Okay, maybe he's growing right out of the rocks. A lot of them do. I work on trains and I go right by and there's trees growing out of a rock. Nothing but rock. It's kind of weird. Okay, there we go. Maybe this guy goes like that. And the bottoms, they kind of. There, the bottoms of them there. So you got that. And that one didn't go through all the way, did it? Right here. Yeah, push that back. There. Then give them some knots in them and stuff. You know, they don't have to be perfect. Like this guy, he can be a little wider down at the bottom. So you got your three trees, and that kind of pushes everything back. Lots of color on here. Holy cow. Um, realistic colors, probably not. <laughs> but they, it looks good, you know. Uh, we're 23 minutes in. And uh, we're going to, another thing I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab, grab some ultramarine blue too. And I'm going to use that here in a little bit uh, right now. Put that on my palette and that'll be something we can use. Okay. Uh, all right. So we got that. We got the trees and we're going to have a little highlight on the one side of them, aren't we? So today... I'm going to be mixing a lot of paint here. So we're going to take some brown, some of that brown, maybe some orange. This is going to, this might look good. I'm going to get some brown and orange and the light's coming from this side. So we're just going to kind of come in and, oh boy. Like the paint's all mixed on the knife. And we're going to come in and just touch this side. Okay. I don't like that on that. There. We'll just come in and hopefully I'm not, my head's not in the way. Just touch. Okay, touch, 
that side of the tree. We're going to put a little light in it, though, because you can't see it that well, can you? And then we'll come back over. Because it's got to stand out between there. And then we'll just put a little bit there and there. And just touch the side of it. Just let it kind of do its thing. Put a little more white in there. And touch, 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 touch. And bring that down. So maybe there's a little bit of light coming in from this side. And we're going to just kind of do that. Bring it down. Just let it bounce on the tree. So there, it looks like you got a, the tree's got a little bit of, I don't know. Then over here, we'll do the same thing. Might be easier from this angle. But I'm just going to touch, touch, touch. You know, and do that and just get it on the outside. A little darker there. Touch up the side of the tree. Leave the other side dark. Do this one. That one's coming off a little better, isn't it? You got to coming in front of him, and he can kind of come this way. Pull that down. Just touch. Touch him. If there's too much, you can just pull it off. Move the brush or the, the knife around, and so it just gives you some highlights on the trees, and that doesn't look too bad. Um, we can go up top and do a few. It's easier from this way, I think. You know, sturdy hand, no. <laughs> Too much coffee today, huh? Just touch here and there. That makes it look good. I don't want to ruin the silhouetteness, but I want to make sure we have. And if you get, you know, you don't like it, you can darken it up a little bit and come back in. And that one's getting a little out of hand, isn't it? And you can take and pull it, round it. That might not work very well today. It's not getting in there. But uh, so you got the highlight on the trees, and that looks pretty good. Now what I want to do is I want to come in and get some blue, some white, a little bit of white. Not a lot. We're going to put a little highlight on the other side. Black in there. Get a little highlight and put it on this side. A little blue. Touch. I don't know if that's going to. Oh, yeah. There we go. Bring that up, up, blue there, just kind of at the base. There, and it kind of makes it look, I don't know, you can see the shadow side. So we'll come over here, just touch this side of it. A little bit of that come off, bounce it around, whatever. And then just, all you're doing is touching the knife. And it's, it's sometimes this can be difficult, but... There, pull that down so you can kind of see. But it kind of gives it a nice little, like makes a tree look round. You got the shadow in there. It's a lot easier with larger trees, I can tell you that. I can come over here maybe and do it. There. Just let the paint fall. Take it what it wants, you know, and kind of go up the side and then boom. And you can kind of pull them together if you want. But there you got that. And then you can come in, get some black. You can come in in the black and go right in the middle of them. And come in there. Push that in. And that makes them kind of, breaks it up a little bit. So you have two different, uh, I think three colors on there. This one looks pretty good, though. You need a lot of black on there. He's He could use maybe a little more blue, but um, that doesn't look bad. I'm going to get some more ultramarine blue. And a little more. Try to use maybe phthalo blue. It's a little better blue for this. Um, but there you so your trees kind of stand out there, and that looks kind of good. We'll take a little more. Yeah, that wasn't a good idea. Okay, a little more of that blue. Get that blue, and then maybe we'll try a little more here. Okay, get it right on the edge, and yeah, a little more right here. And just tap, tap, tap. Just get on the outside of it, and that'll kind of make that stand out. Oh, I like that better. There. And then over here. I think that side looks pretty good. You could use a liner brush on this, too, but yeah. I could have, yeah. Up here, maybe we put a little blue. No, just a little bit. Just a tiny little bit up here, just to give a little, break it up a little bit. Maybe a little bit here. There. A little blue up top there kind of gives it a little little different look not too bad and these here at the bottom you can just leave them 
might put some bushes down here, you know, that one you could pull this way, see, I pull him out that way, and this one, pull him this way, right, and we had that lighter color here, so watch this, he's come back in, and his feet get kind of wide at the bottom. That one just looks like it grows right in the rock. I won't mess with that one. Um, but that doesn't look too bad. Yeah, we're almost, we're just hit 30 minutes, so not too bad. I want to get a little more dark in here. So I'm going to come down in here and kind of get a little dark just to break it up, you know, some little things and just kind of give so it doesn't look so light. And then up here, maybe there's a little piece that comes here. See, and you can kind of follow your angles. I don't want to kill all the light, but maybe there's a little bit down there. There. So that kind of gives that. That's a little bright right there too, isn't it? So we can come in here and give a little, pull from the bottom up. I don't know. Just kind of give it, let it bounce and do a little thing there. Like you're, that gives it some more rocky looks, you know? Okay. And then over here, this will be, take some more of that blue on the knife and then over here we can come in and pull down some of that blue in the shadows here and that should make it look kind of cool there you know there you can pull this way or oop, i don't want that much but there so you got some blue over there that doesn't look too bad actually and then of course we better do some on this side a little bit over here maybe Pull that down because you know where that guy's going. Oh, look there. There. See, that one looks maybe, yeah, because they're in shadow, so you want that blue. And you can do, you know, you can do some up in here too. Maybe there's a little bit right here. That's more color in there. May look better. Not a lot, but pull it there. These knives are fun. There. A little there, a little there. Something like that. Or there's little, little holes and stuff in there. So you got that. Um, what else are we going to do here? I think what I want to do is take that fan brush and I'm not going to put any leaves on the trees cause I don't want them to, I don't want them to, um, ruin the sky. Okay. But I think I'm going to take a little dark, that black and brown, a little of that blue. I'm going to come in and darken some of these areas, you know, there. See that? Gives a little, let's add a little more dark in there. And it kind of makes it there. Over here. I think I kind of, and all that dark we had underneath, and I, I went in and kind of, you know, get it dark under these trees here, like there. And that'll make them kind of look better. See, like this. Over here, like where the, it's going to be shadows under here, you know. So you want them dark. Dark. And the trees look good there. So there, now you got some shadows under there at the bottom, and maybe over here it could be a little darker. Right in there, down here, darker towards the bottom. You don't see the bottom is dark, 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 maybe down here. See that. So that rock kind of sits in front of, looks like it pushes that back. And this one here, you could come in, same brush, and put some. God, I've got yellow ochre. We could use whatever. Some highlights and just tap it in there. And watch this. You come in here. There's so much paint on the end of that brush. And we can, maybe it comes over. Just kind of push that down to there. It kind of pushes that rock back in. Should we dare do it on the other side? Yep. Let's do it. We'll get some, use up this yellow. And then over here, maybe. Maybe it comes down in front too like that. This one's going to be tough because there's a ton of paint on there. There. So you got a little coming in there. That don't look bad. You can see. So that pushes that rock back, don't it? We can push up. And sometimes the, oh, there's a lot of paint on there. So it's going to be difficult. It's going to mix. We get some white. And we'll just kind of come in here and. There, so there looks like some grass growing in front of that guy, and it can come down, and maybe even, just cause, get a little bit down here, right at the base here, a little bit like there, 
but we're going to need some highlights. So I'm going to grab some white, maybe some of that orange, and just tap right there. A little more white. Where is it? A little more white on there. That'll be good. Get some of that green in there, too. The more closer paintings get, the more the colors are stronger. And, you know, you got that. And yellows there. But that, once they get closer, they're not as diluted. They're, oh, there. Oh, there. That looks all right. There, a little grass down at the bottom there. It'll push that in. Maybe it comes over the tree a little bit. You know, and so you got that there. You can put some highlights. This is a good color, so maybe there's a little brighter right in here. You know, where the closer to the that thing there, the canyon or whatever the heck it is. Can't really do this guy. You can touch him a little bit, but I can't. The trees are, you know, a little bit there. There, just like that, because you, you can't have too much under here. There's The light is coming in, and so you get your trees look good. And maybe you don't just a little bit up here. I don't want to ruin them. Just a touch. Touch up there. Maybe make those trees look a little different. Not a lot of that color. Maybe a little bit right in here. And I'm tapping here, so, and you can do that. There. So you got those trees in the background. So there. You've got that, and then uh, it's pretty bright. I think my lights are brighter. The painting is not even close to being that bright, so I might edit it a little bit and, and darken it down a little bit. Um, here's what I like to do. i got my old knife out, and I'm going to take and get some, some of this color that's on there, and maybe there's some grasses growing up. Just pulling them up in different directions. See, you just take that and go up or you can smack it or whatever, you know. And this will make it look even farther back. There, like stuff there. And that knife works great. It goes over everything. It don't matter. Let's see here. Get some of that ochre, yellow, orange. I'm just not, I don't have a lot left, so I'm just kind of using whatever I can get my knife on here. Maybe over here. Just pulling up. See there in the front, and then it even kind of pushes it back a little more. Puts all that stuff, you know, back in there. You can use a, you can use a, you know, a knife for this, or you can use a brush. Maybe there's a few back here. Over there, over there, and I'm kind of using the whole thing. Maybe the the the, the back of the knife a little bit. There's a few over here, but that just kind of gives you. You know, pushes the stuff back a little bit. This one's got some wild color in it, doesn't it? Over here. Then you can come in and, oh, let's see here. You can get some of this black and do the same thing. I'm kind of running out, but you can put some dark ones in here. And with that, actually, you could just scrape through because what's the bottom of the canvas is black. So, like over here, I could pull that up. See? See those little guys? I mean, you can just do this all day. Grass grows every way. You don't, it doesn't go straight up. It goes sideways. It goes flat. Don't overdo. I don't want to ruin it. But, you know, that kind of, that, that's how, you know, the grass will grow. Um, I don't look too bad. I want to come in here. Get some dark. Too light. Some of this yellow on the tip. I want to try to maybe bring a little more of this down. There. There, so that kind of pulls that back. There's a little rock going into there. I think that looks good. I think it looks good. Um, I'm going to take my old liner brush. I don't know where it's at. Uh, and we're going to sign this one. This is a great liner brush. What color should I use today? Um, actually, I'm not going to sign it. I'm going to scratch it out with uh, the back of a brush today. Since there's black underneath, I need a very... Very something with a really sharp end on it, and we'll see how that goes. Or I could use my palette knife, I've done that before. Let's try that. See, so we'll go over here, 
We're going to go in and go. There's an L. Kind of see it? L. P. Oh. P. R. And then just. There. Scrape it out. There. You can't see it that well, but it's there. And that's the signature for today. Um, I guess we could do that and then come back in and try to try to do it a little better with this guy. That doesn't look too bad. L P R. <laughs> Can you see it? <laughs> no. Um, I'll probably come back in and give me some some. Let's see. Give me some of this color here and some red. Where's my red? Give me some red. We're going to do it with red. I hope it's six, but we'll see. Even though I kind of edged, I made a little groove there. <laughs> we'll come back in and try it. Where is it at? Where's the L? Right here. L. Ooh. There's a lot of paint there. L. I take all this paint. E. I hope you can see my head's not in the way. And R. And R. And you can wait and sign them when they're dry, but this is kind of cool because it you never know what they're going to look like. So pull that down, pull that down. Boom, there it is. So you got it in there. It's thin there. And that is a pretty good little painting for, uh, oh, what was it, 41 minutes. I thought I'd go faster today. Sorry. Uh, anyway. Thanks for joining me. And uh, one more thing here we could do is come in here and dig in some, do this. I got some dark, got some of that other, the black or this other color. We can come in and maybe throw in a little, little, little things back here, like some orange trunks or something. That looks all right, huh? Some of that uh, burnt sienna. There. That kind of gives those a little bit of a little trunks on them. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Have a good day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.